Ah, LucasArts. In stereo. <laughs> that was the first time I saw the LucasArts logo, ever. Yes, me too. I was just thinking, I was trying to think if there was another game, but this would be it. Yeah. I'll, I'll let the fanfare play for a few seconds here to soak in that midi. When when I got my... Oh, um, going to do the... Oh, oh it's <laughs> there the we go. Demo. Yeah, I was going to show the demo like so fast. I'll just jump in. You do the difficulty? Yeah. Nice. Playing on easy. Like the Padawan I am. Oh, man. Yeah, I was going to say, intro. this is... Super Star Wars, along with uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men Arcade's Revenge, which was definitely not a good game. Yeah. Um, this was the first uh, game I got with my Super Nintendo. I bought a used Super Nintendo in 93. Mm -hmm. And I bought this and Spider-Man. Nice. And this was definitely yeah, yeah. made up for that turn <laughs> of a game. Yeah, I rented that game one time and it was not good. But this, I think, easily, even though the other super games in the trilogy are improvements, I think this kicked off the SNES in such an epic way. This was probably one of the best licensed games to come out of the early library. Yeah, a great platformer. The, the other two, um, Empire and Return of the Jedi... Are definitely just refinements. Yeah, I mean, it's the same basic gameplay and yeah. stuff. I really the 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 biggest thing is just the lightsaber. Yeah, uh, combat is better mm -hmm. with the fl the flips and all that stuff is just better. Right, but, and I would um, I would think they're they're more challenging games. Although some people think this one is just as hard. Also, I I think this one was the easier one, but I don't know. This is the one I played the most. So, Super Return of the Jedi is really hard. <laughs> Very hard, but then it's well, like so does Empire too. Em though. Empire and Jedi are almost like borderline the same for me, which is insane difficulty, and I can't even get past the first level one when I play them now. I can't. Yeah. Whereas yeah. at least back in the '90s, I could get to near the end of the game of both. Your your old <laughs> boomer brain is uh, <laughs> now can't, now can't keep up anymore. Don't don't. Don't slip us in with the boomer generation. Right. As easy well, as it is to uh, do. I my my go to excuse is that back then we were playing on CRTs and yeah. now it's yeah. L C D and there's like input lag and stuff and that's clearly the, the issue. That sounds like a it's, great excuse. I I'll yeah. go with that. It works for me. Um You have a hundred and for 460 seconds to get through this level. <laughs> yeah, I, it, I never realized. I forgot. Oh, there big is heart, a, big heart. Not that you need it. But. I forgot. Oh, it's gone. I forgot there is a, uh, a uh, time limit in this game because it is a slow time limit and you have so much. So it's, it's never really an issue. Yeah, it's kind of it's just a relic of platformers from that time and the yeah. transition from uh nintendo you know it's got a score too but it's like you yeah know, no one gave a fuck cares about then. the score there it is that's what i want these this was one of the early depictions of uh minox in in the the lore and there was my, different you, minox or these uh, oh, oh womp sorry rats. sorry womp rats got my right got my uh, letters mixed up um because you know, there's been different versions of Womp Rats over the years. Um, there was a Tops, the Star Wars Galaxy trading cards came out the, a year after this game, and they they had a, a card of like Luke shooting at one in the canyon in his uh, T16, and mm -hmm. that kind of looked slightly different. And then, uh, yeah, it's just one of those those nah, these, things. These, for me, these are Womp Rats because, <laughs> yeah, you know they. They should be big. You know what's Bigger funny? Than what yeah. They're normally depicted as now. Yeah. You know what's funny about this game is that there is like lore that's exclusive to it as far as creatures and things that they came up with for this game 
that have a Wikipedia entry, but then they only appear in this game, like these scorpions yeah. and there was the Joenko lava monster at the the, <laughs> at yeah. the sand crawler and yeah, it's funny. There's there's a part in that sand crawler, if I remember correctly, when you're getting up to the lava monster. Yeah. That I'll I'll mention when we get to it, but it's just a funny little video game tick that I have or problem. Yeah. I certainly had when I was a kid, but um Yeah, this uh what was this? This this was I was reading the um, like some of the credits for it, mm -hmm. and they've they've got um, you know online. There's like old articles and interviews from like GamePro back yep. when this that was, came out. That was my main magazine, and and did. they mention um, the old. There's trick. like a couple of artists, and they're they're like John Knowles and Harrison Fong, and I'm like, <laughs> are these joke names? Like, is this... No, those are, were is, real guys. I, I do no, remember, I know, but, I, I remember their names. Right. But it but sounds like, like uh, other guys, John Knoll and obviously yeah, John Harrison John Knoll's Ford. from ILM and, right. and Harrison Ford. So, uh, you know, it's kind of like, um, uh, what was it? I remember beating Altered Beast back when, oh, when yeah, I was a kid. And yeah. all the names, I'm just like, what the, what the fuck? Fuck is I, with these names, and then of like, course there was the infamous Castlevania credits, right? Christopher yeah, B. With the, and yeah, the weird puns, <laughs> right? The old, uh, old. There we movies. go. I always remember. I think I got that trick from Game Pro. Just slowly walk up to the Sarlacc and don't go fully into the screen, and you can get some space off to the, the left. Yeah. I don't remember this scene in the movie. Uh, he's, he's like 10 feet away from him and he's still using the his, uh, binoculars or whatever right it's like oh he found 3po okay well i guess he could be looking for r2 like 3po could be like hey my friend is somewhere and then he's like okay i'll look now this is the bane of most people's existence although this is one of the easiest le levels of all time oh for me. no see okay so this is what it is this is easy okay but if you go play uh, Super Return of the Jedi, for oh, some yeah. reason, yeah. it's like way harder. And I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's just, um, because I think it's the first level. You're on yes. your way yeah, yeah. to uh, yeah. to Jabba's palace. Yep. And I think it's just the. It's challenging. When I, you you got to jump over the pits, and yeah, there's rocks in the way, and you're forced forward no matter what. So you can either speed up or just go slightly slower but you still have to time the jumps over the pits and this one at least i can i can go in all directions but the real trick to it is to not because then the jawas will surround right. you they only yeah. appear in the distance yeah. in front of you they don't come up right. from behind yeah your only your only goal is to kill jawas it's not to actually move forward exactly so yeah this is one is as soon as you know the trick it's just super easy and you can keep them at a distance I can easily kill them as long as I prioritize taking them out and and uh, keeping them out there. And I see a couple kind of slightly got close, but let's oh, see. That's it. Get a heart, and then as soon as you if you save your rocket fuel, you can just fly over everything over yeah. more Jawas towards the sand crawler. Yeah, to me, yeah, that's the easiest. Could level you could you imagine seeing that in the movie? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Ben's like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing, Luke? Now this is land speeding. <laughs> yeah. You're just like your father. <laughs> oh, we got extra time. You know, that's right. Oh, uh, here we go. Man Mandalorian. Yeah, Mandalorian episode. The perspective of this was always weird because when you stop, it, it's like, is the land moving or is the sand crawler moving? It's like a weird. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's a weird <laughs> video game thing. But yeah, you know, in Mandalorian, they just ripped off Super Star Wars here. Oh, well, dude, it's like one of the best homages yeah, ever. Yeah. You know. To, to for even there to be like the hint that oh yeah oh I, used uh, the I meant to use it I, right when I pressed it it I forgot about that um e even if it's like you know 
poten- just potentially an homage. Oh, oh. It's nice to have. Oh, I got it. Is it the Heat Seeker? Yeah. yeah. This is the one of the best to have, really. Yeah, that's that's the best to have against the uh, Cantina yep. boss and the Death Star droid because you don't you can just sit in the back and right. I gotta always make sure to take out these uh, heat things now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's that was the the nifty part of that uh, Mandalorian uh, episode. Yep. What? You're using save states. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Every so often, yes, we are. For the sake oh. of, of posterity. So this game was developed um, by sculpted, or not sculpted, sculptured software. Right, right. Which there, there are other games, and they were, they were uh, they're in Salt Lake. Mm-hmm. Salt Lake City, Utah, and uh, the other games that they developed were Mortal Kombat That's 1, right. 2, That's and right. 3 for SNES. They seem to be really good with doing games that require um, digitizing like real physical objects to make them have the right shading and everything. Yeah. Um, and Doom as well, which oh, um, okay. I, I did play because I didn't have a PC. Oh, myself until 96 so if i i didn't get an opportunity to play um doom very much unless i was at a friend's house yeah so i actually did play the super nintendo version interesting so i actually have fond memories of that i know yeah it's not the greatest port in the world no (laughs) obviously not the worst right but it's if it's what you start with it's your perception is different than other people you yeah. would have fondness for it. All I had was Knee Deep in the Dead for a good five years. So it wasn't until... Actually, it wasn't until like late 96, even after Quake had already come out, that uh, Daniel got um, Ultimate Doom. And I got to see the other episodes. Yeah. And Oh, and I had already been playing Doom 2 when that came out. So, yeah, interesting how that works out. I'm doing pretty good so far here. Okay, got that. The real thing I want to make sure I get when I see them is the uh, lightsaber health extensions. Oh yeah, yeah, those are those are huge. Yeah, get that get that lightsaber going all the way across the screen. Yeah, your health. I'll spread my lightsaber. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Imagine if we really knew that sand crawlers had all these weapons on them. It's just funny. Dude, to think. Uh, I think I think if the if the sand crawlers had all these weapons, the Jawas could have just taken out the Empire on Tatooine themselves. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's a it's a you know Fortress Maximus mm-hmm. type thing going on. What? 